Hillary Swank. Man. I'll tell you what. She's another one to be on the great Heine list. Holy Christ almighty. I just seen a movie last night called, uh, Mr. 45 Bullet recommended it to me, called The Resident. My God. She looks really good in that, man. Uh, Jessica Biel, she's like, uh, let's see, Jamie Presley, Jessica Biel, Hilary Swank. They are Heinies of Hollywood. They should have a show, like, The Heinies of Hollywood. There you go. That would be a good reality show. Anyway. Uh, that was pretty pretty good movie, but, uh, man, she looks better than ever, man. Whew. Lord. Uh, I'm going to do a little ammunition video. Uh, I'm not, I'm not an ammunition crazy maniac, ammunition forensic, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Enthusiast. Like, I don't know a lot about ammunition. I know a little bit about it. I'll just show you what I use and it all works fine for me. But uh, first I'd like to bring up, in my last video I said anyone that shoots himself with a Springfield XD has got to be, uh, must have a half a brain cell. And sure enough, someone sent me a video of someone shooting himself with a Springfield XD. I can't believe it. It was accomplished. And this is scary to the human race. Really? Oh my god. How could you shoot yourself with an XD? How the fuck can you do that? You have to be an idiot, wrapped in moron, sealed with loser tape. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I haven't been feeling good lately. Waiting for the doctor to call and uh, the phone should be ringing any second. So if it rings, I will not get irritated. Uh, I want to give a shout out real quick to, to a, a really good dude, man. Please bear with me. This kid is, he's not a kid, but he's, a, to me he is, because I'm fucking old. Uh, skinny Dun, Skinny Gun Channel. Or Skinny.com, SkinnyGun.com. I'll put his link on the, uh, the bottom of the page. Man, I said his, I said his name, ass backwards. I told you I ain't feeling right. Okay, it's Gun Skinny, sorry. Gun Skinny, put that in reverse. I'll put his link on the bottom and go check his channel out. He's just starting out. He's got a lot of great knives. He's buying guns. And uh, he's he's uh, he's a real smart dude. And uh, if you want another sub, if you want to sub to someone that's going to make uh, another great contribute, contribute to good people, you want to keep good people together, put him in the box too, man. We gotta keep uh, you gotta gotta keep the good people strong and all good people together. So when I recommend someone, trust me, with the exception of one or two in the past that I've I've miss uh, they fooled me. I thought they were they were okay and they turned out to be assholes. But you know I'm not 100%, but I'm 99% when I recommend somebody to you. You definitely want them as a sub. Anyway, so check his channel out, please. Help the kid out. He's just starting. Uh yeah, that's it for that. I don't like to do too many shout-outs because I know you guys start telling me I'm a promo channel and that's a bunch of bullshit, but whatever. A uh, little update on my AR-15. If you could see, put a front vertical grip on it. See? That is from Fab Defense. Fab, F-A-B, Defense. And I got that from Zohal. Zohal is that uh, the guy from Israel. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what, quality, quality, that's all it is. Uh, usually, um, a vertical grip only has one mounting screw to squeeze it together. This has two. It has a big one. I know you can't see it. Let's see if I can zoom up. See if, uh... Look at that. Let me see. Camera, be good, boy. That's it. It has a big screw. And it has one a little smaller, and they both work together. And I'll tell you what, when that's on there, that fucking thing ain't coming off. And it's uh, all rubber. Of course, the bottom on screws. You can put batteries in there for your for the Neo, uh, for the Neo, yeah, Neo, for the EOTech. And uh, it's really good forward uh, vertical foregrip there. Also, I just added on the back of my stud, my stud, 
my uh, AR, my butt stock, is that Magpul butt pad. See it? It's got the little holes in it and all. Just wanted to show that. And uh, that's it for the AR right now. I just wanted to show it off and uh, show you. And also, I added a uh, um, Troy Industries rail cover on the top. Now it looks nice and finished. Looks great. It's just the way I want it to be. Now I, I gotta shoot it. <laughs> you know, really, dude, you should shoot your gun first, then then trip it out. But I'm too impatient. Ammunition. Uh, I don't know what, what 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 you guys want me to tell you about ammunition. Um, like I said, I know about ammunition. You have to if you have this many guns. But I'm not. Uh, weapons education. He really knows ammo really well. So he, you know. But I can give you an idea. A couple guys said, just show us the ammo you use, and I'm so okay. Um, as far as for target shooting, like just shoot my 1911s at the range, just target ammo. I find this runs really good. The Remington UMC, 45 ACP, and it's not a lot of money, and it doesn't run dirty. It runs pretty damn clean. I'll tell you what, it runs cleaner than Federal, because I've tried Federal. Now, it depends what kind of Federal you're talking about. Uh, but I ran Federal on my guns, and man, it looked like a, it looked like a fucking, uh, like a chimney. Like, I only put like 20 rounds through it, and it was like black everywhere. I don't know why. It's the kind of gunpowder they use. But the Remington uh, UMC, you, the gunpowder burns pretty clean. I heard some guys think said they it runs dirty. I don't see that. I, I think it runs real clean. So that that that's a good option for you when you go to the target for any caliber. This is 45. Uh, if, you, if you if you have a 380 9mm or whatever, the the Remington uh, you know the green and white box uh, is awesome. That's a 230 grain. 45 ACP, it runs good. It's round nose ammunition. It works great on 1911s or any any 45 ACP. Uh, another guy said, "What's the difference between a green box of Remington and a yellow box, dude? I have no idea. I never had a yellow box of of Remington. I don't know what the difference is." Uh, another uh, now self defense ammo. Now that's a different story. Uh, like I said, so I use this for all the target, and you know I have PMC. I'm not a fan of PMC, but it was a trade off with somebody. So the guy gave me a fucking box of PMC. Thanks. It's not bad. It's you know, I, I'm really not a fan of PMC. I heard a lot. I heard that it's a little dirty, but whatever. You help each other out. It was a good. It was it was good. You hook me up, I hook him up. But like, it's not my choice of ammo, but. I wasn't going to be picky and be a faggot, you know what I mean? I was thankful for what he, for what he hooked me up with. But, it's good. Um, I also have Lawman. Lawman's good ammo, you know what I mean? It's okay. Uh, Winchester uh, Winchester is uh, is good ammo too. Uh, it's a little hotter than Remington UMC. And uh, so, if you're having uh, slide issues, like uh, stovepipe issues and stuff like that, and if you're using Remington UMC, switch over to Winchester and uh, see what you get then. Because uh, their, their loads are a little hotter. That's what I found out. Okay, now as far as self-defense ammunition goes, uh, you know I have a, a lot of 1911s. I used a Powerball. Powerball ammo is good because um, 1911s are designed for ball ammo, but these are hollow points that are filled in so they act like ball ammo. I know I've showed you these before, but if you're a new sub, you've never seen them in your friggin' life. Okay? So don't give me shit. See it? It's a hollow point filled with a Teflon plastic, and it just feeds like a like ball ammo. And these are 9mm. So I have them in 9mm, and I have them in 45 ACP also. Good ammunition, very good ammunition. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it's second to my favorite, okay? Now, as far as my favorite, favorite, favorite fucking ammunition goes, it is the Winchester Supreme Elite PDX-1. This stuff is awesome. It, it, it feeds so nice. Uh, it's great for finicky guns that, that jam here and there. If you have a gun that jams here and there, uh, try the PDX because the way it's designed, it is a hollow point, but all the edges that
that have potential to get hung up on the feed ramp are rounded off and it just reduces friction big time look at that see how that shape every it's rounded it you know all around and it's all rounded off everything's rounded off this will feed nice and smooth up your ramp up your ass whatever you want to say and uh, it's a uh, premium premium self-defense ammo it's very expensive chances are you'll never use it unless you know if you have money you want to put a box through your gun just to make you feel good go ahead but that's that's uh, what I if I had the money and I was a guy with money and I would buy self-defense ammo I would buy like boatloads of this shit boatloads it's awesome so that's my two primary favorite uh, self-defense ammunition and as far as for the uh, the uh, my AR here uh, the, the 223 this is 556 this is the military shit this is good this is cool by federal comes in a brown box 556 millimeter uh, I like this okay M193 ball and it's not a lot of money 699 a box they're 55 grain and uh, beautiful boat tail bullets very sweet. So, uh, you could stock up on this stuff. It's good stuff. All right. That's what I would like to use uh, with my AR. Now, as far as my AK-47 goes, see, this is just great about an AK-47. You don't have to fucking worry. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about ammunition. It runs it all. Steel, brass, whatever. It don't give a shit. It just eats it. You know what I mean? So I got all different uh, 7.62 by 39 millimeter in here. All different kinds. I have uh, American Eagle. Now this is brass cartridges. Okay. Uh, with an AK, you can shoot brass cartridges, but I don't, I don't recommend it. Because it, you know, I only have one box of them. Actually, these were a gift from somebody. So I'll keep them, but I wouldn't buy. I'd rather use steel ammunition with an AK, because if really that's what it's designed for. Uh, this is pretty good stuff for an AK. Golden Tiger. 120 grain. That works nice. I have these. I have like a couple hundred rounds of these. And I also have the Russian ammunition. I can find it. It's in the bottom here. This is my favorite ammunition for the AK right here. This Russian ammunition. Okay. 7.62, 39 millimeter. These are hollow points. 123 grain. Okay. They're made for hunting specifications. Keep out, you know, I should keep out of reaching children and all that. But you can use them for, uh, you know self-defense if, if you did that I mean because they are hollow points so and they're hollow points how cool are they and uh, if I like I said if I had my choice and I had money and all that I would buy nothing but this for my AK Russian ammo good stuff that's all I could say about that yeah, AK, if you don't have an AK, and you, you don't like them, or you think you don't like them, you should really give it a shot, because you will be converted instamatically, because they're just, they're just a beast of a rifle, you know what I mean? A beast of a rifle, and uh, they just work, you know? I mean, there's videos out there where the AKs, some of them fall apart, the, uh, the dust cover pops off, I mean, come on. But there's companies out there that make some shitty ass AKs. You gotta watch out. And I'm not gonna name who they are because some of you guys might have one and you're gonna get all hiney hurt. When you get all hiney hurt, you leave nasty comments. So what I'm gonna say to you is if you are looking for an AK, my advice to you is through friends that I've had experience with AKs, is I'd go for a Yugo M70. I'd go for a, uh, of course, an Arsenal, you know, or a Norinco. I'd go for a Norinco or a Polytech if you can find one. 
I mean, they're really, really great AK-47s. There's, there's a lot of other ones that are out there, the Bulgarian ones and uh, the AMD one. You know, uh, what's this? Uh, Ta Taiwan Reef has some really sweet SAKs, and you don't have to spend a lot of money on an AK. That's what's great about them. If you shop around, you really do your shopping, you can get a really good one for 500 bucks. Too bad that don't work like that in the AR world, does it? Nope. Not even close. Alright, that's it guys. I thought I'd just give a little ammo video because I don't have too many of those and show you the AR update. And uh, I appreciate it. Um, hey guys, uh, real quick, uh, if, if, uh, you know, if you guys order a shirt, Please, 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 please put your size in it, inside the envelope. I ain't going to remember your size. I have no idea. I know if you send me in the PM, I, I'm not going to remember it. I, I don't keep the PMs. I, you know, I'm constantly cleaning my box out, and there's, I get hundreds of PMs every day. It's just, I can't. you got to be real specific. Even though you told me, oh, yeah, I want a 3XL, and I say, okay, that doesn't mean when your letter comes, I'm going to remember. So just please put your uh, size in there. Thank you. Alright guys, enough is enough. I can't stand my voice anymore. I gotta go clean up dog shit.